Hey everybody. Well, um, I'm uh, doing a little earthquake uh, retrofit here, moving some heavy things out of my daughter's upper closet area down below where they won't po pose much of a threat. And what I came across while I was doing so was um, a little, what might be interesting to people about what, what do huntsman spiders do to survive the winter? Well, a lot of them will find a safe place to uh, while away the cold months, and I've just spotted one. I don't know if you can see it back there. See the legs? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if you can see it. Can I see it? Yeah, it's back there. I'm going to move this a little bit. There's a little, there's a small huntsman spider back there. There it is. That's a really small one. Now that spider will, as soon as it's warm enough, if it's able to uh, get outside, that will grow to be a uh, good uh, 10 inches across. Now it's only about the size of a large wolf spider in the United States. Little tiny little thing. You can tell it's a huntsman by the uh, um, distinct front, two front pairs of legs that are in kind of a crab spider form. They kind of go forward a little bit. It's not too apparent here. Too bad I only have my iPhone. I don't have good zoom in the market for a new phone where I could have a better zoom. And it's still kind of cold, so the spider's not too active, but they are lightning fast. That is a pretty small little fella. Pretty docile, too. Oh, there it goes. Starting to move. Now, I've got to get it out of here. Emily doesn't like having Huntsman Spider hanging around in her bedroom. If she overhears me talking about it, she'll, she won't like it. <laughs> Hello, little spider. There you are. Let's turn the light on. There. Nice illumination. Ooh, you can see the eyes. See the illumination from the eyes there? Now the spiders have uh, front-facing eyes and uh, also they have some eyes that are peering from the back. I think that's the back-facing or they're on the top. And they really, the ones, the eye that you're seeing reflecting there is really just detecting motion. It really doesn't uh, see very well. <clears throat> These spiders have great vision compared to a, an orb spider, a web spider, but not nearly as good as the vision of a jumping spider, which has that beautiful binocular vision. You can see things so well. This spider can uh, can ambush. It's an ambush predator, so it'll run across the ground, ambush animal critters. The, they are also called housekeeping spiders in Japan because <clears throat> they're great for uh, keeping uh, pests like cockroaches in check. Although we don't have too many cockroaches here, so this would probably starve if it had to stay in our place. Well, okay, well, I'll probably have to now try to catch it and then get it out of here before Emily finds out she's got a huntsman in her bedroom. She doesn't like them. <laughs> okay, little huntsman spider, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. Oh, nice shiny from your eyes. Bye-bye, huntsman.